It's not only a meme among the 9 year olds that is appeared by fan base. Not only among the entire YouTube community. Dude, we got the double billboard. We don't mess around. T-Series, it's game in for you. I knew that the battle between PewDiePie and T-Series was coming. As you can see, I've purchased all the billboards here in India to promote PewDiePie. If you don't go in the description and you don't click on that link and you don't subscribe to PewDiePie right now, there will be We did it! We did it! It's okay! Right now, guys. But also certain celebrities. Oh, hey, Jordan, what are you doing right now? I'm subscribing to PewDiePie. So, why should you subscribe to the Swedish man that now talks about... Before I start this video, I just want to say, how the... <laughs> you compare a lone Swedish man who records videos in his room versus a multi-millionaire company with thousands of skilled employees with varying skill sets. Them working for a literal music labels which upload music videos from the movies and stuff which millions of people watch anyways a bit of an unfair comparison don't you think so, like i'm indian for the five percent of my audience that I may not know and i see people making this a nationalist issue simon says did a good job explaining about that they're like if you want to support india you should subscribe to t-series what एक स्वीडिश वीडियो यानी कि प्यूरीफाई प्यूरीफाई ने एक डिस्ट्रैक्ट निकाला है इंडिया पे यू इंडिया यू लूज यानी कि बिच लजाए ना जल्द जो है वो टी सीरीज वो आगे निकल जाएगा प्यूरीफाई से तो प्यूरीफाई थोड़े नाराज है इंडिया से आई डोंट लाइक यू टी सीरीज नथिंग पर्सनल किड किड आई बीन अ व्यू ऑफ दिस कम्युनिटी फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम राइट Now this may be crazy to believe, but when I'm watching Felix content, I'm not thinking about his country. When I'm subscribing to Anna's gaming, I'm not thinking about supporting Canada. I put my eyes like this so I can see enemies coming from any direction. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm watching Nigaiga's content, I'm not endorsing USA. So just like that, when I see TCD is climbing up the charts, I'm not like, yay, an Indian channel. Although I would be happy. If it was an Indian YouTuber, not any company, I would hate to see any company in the position T series is now. So, not just hating on T series. Because all I see as T series becomes closer and closer to becoming the top of YouTube is not what YouTube was, but what it clearly is trying to be. This is like a battle between the content creators that gave birth to the platform versus what the platform is aspiring to be. mainstream media this explains why there's such a huge difference in the likes like dislike ratio in the youtube rewind since 2012 youtube rewind 2018 is the most disliked video on youtube yeah and maybe by the time i upload this it has reached 10 million dislikes yeah they suck at the most as their own platform How cool. I'm going to go in depth about the rewind because that's not what I'm talking about here. But here's to all women in 2018 finding their voices. Moment to working moms. Ganbari masho. All women. Working moms. All women. Working moms. The rewind like 2013 consisted of lots of inside jokes having all the cues that were hot that year. The dislike on the video itself so the disconnect between YouTube and its audience. So guys, apparently We control rewind this year. Now comes PewDiePie, the golden messiah. YouTube grew from a place where people uploaded random fun videos. Many people consider it as the golden age of YouTube. PewDiePie became the number one on twenty third December twenty thirteen, and has been that way. He's been there all through the golden era with YouTube's ever increasing corporateness and with a literal industry taking over YouTube it's easy to think that it will be the end of YouTube as they know it so the only way they can fight back and reclaim the territory is to tell people to subscribe to PewDiePie this is not about an indian channel becoming number 1 or whatever it's about stopping YouTube from becoming a corporate place that it already is now Of course, if T series became number one, it wouldn't really change anything. People would still upload videos like they usually did. Dude, if I won't delete his channel, if he became number two, he in fact has a video ready for but he keeps getting subscribers. Oh, but hey, oh, let me check what's the number one content on YouTube. Oh, oh, it's 
It's a music label. Great. YouTube's number one sport should be able to define what YouTube is, right? And a company T series doesn't do a very good job at that. PewDiePie, on the other hand, grew mostly from being a gaming channel. That is something that is very, very YouTube. He also started doing funny as in satire videos. He's pretty much done almost everything. He does vlogs, he's done book, movie, and wild reviews. Now, obviously, you wouldn't be interested in everything that the person talks about. But as you keep watching a person's videos, you come to know more about them and maybe feel a connection to them. And that connection, PewDiePie or not, is what YouTube is about. But although, in my personal opinion, he is the best number one because him being quite straightforward and being able to talk about problems on YouTube such as forced positivity. Now, if you watch my older videos, I might seem a lot happier. I might seem a lot chipper, a lot more positive. And that's because I faked it. <laughs> I thought that for people to want to watch my videos, I would have to be happy. But the, the thing that I realized after doing YouTube for two years Forging positivity is fucking exhausting. There were times where I recorded myself playing video games, absolutely hating the game. And at the same time, being a complete mad lad. Slam it! Like my rack? <laughs> it's a knee, it's a knee song! But more than keeping PewDiePie as the number one sport, this is about not letting TCDs become number one, or any other channel that is not so YouTube-like. Now, at the end of the day, if you'd like to subscribe to T-Series, that's completely fine. He's man to his own. But in this video, I just put forward my two cents about why he should subscribe to PewDiePie. Thanks for watching. Two videos of scripts ready, but none of them are even close to being finished filming at all. So I just want to talk about it for a long time. I just wanted to get a video. Thanks.